hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to discuss about the problem you will get to see if you're using the password authentication to do the git operation so i've got this file here so i want to push this file so for that i've just committed some changes here so for that i just want to add this file and let me just commit and let me just type demo commit here so just to show you the demonstration and if I just have to push this file, git push, and I will be using my username. And if I just type my password, so before it used to work, but from August 13, which is in fact today. And if I just type this password, so this will show some error like support for password authentication was removed from August 13. So if I just have to go to this article here, so down here you will be able to see that if you're using the password authentication git operation with the github.com you must begin using the personal access token or sss key by august 13 so you have to use this personal access token instead of using the password so to use that what you need to do is you just need to go to your github account and just go to your profile here and down here you will be able to see this setting option and just click on this setting and developer setting and just click on this personal access token here and just click on this generate new token so you can just give some name here so let me give some name like demo for access token so you can give any name and you can just give this expiry date as well so let me keep for 30 days and you can also choose the scopes here so if you want to give the full access control to private repository or for workflows and to write delete or you can give any access so i will be giving some of the access here so let me just give the right access and you can give all the access as well so so that you won't get any confusion so let me just give the access to all of these here and once you do that let me just click on this generate token so you can just copy this token as well and in my case i will just type this one so let me just do the same thing again here so let me just type git push and let me just type username and if i just type this password here so once i type this access token so you can see here the commit has been pushed into this remote repository so this is how you fix this problem of password authentication thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel